because you sort of instinctively read from left to right, I guess. Uh, and historically, this is the alley. But so this, uh, the, the decision I'm making here is that the, there is no escape in this particular format because everybody is going to hell. This sort of inexorable way that the wagon is dragged along and to the point ends up in the fiery furnace. And a, very few artists have ever painted hell as successfully, I think, as Bosch. Something like you've been there and had a little look. Uh, anyway, the, the actual, the sort of thing we saw before, the more traditional idea with God in the middle, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down, blessed, all happy, because they're all showing up, oh, goody, 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 you know, eternal bliss, that, and then, oh, Christ, we blew it over this side, and all the hellfire, and the ouch, and the ouch, and everything else. So it's your choice, basically, but that's the idea, I and mean, you, can, you can pick it. Behave yourself, you go that way, screw up, you go that way. Uh, and with Bosch, we're all doomed. It's a very pessimistic view somehow. Uh, so anyway, what we start out with is, is the idea of, of paradise, the Garden of Eden. And basically, if you read from top to bottom, uh, it, it's kind of the two ways that evil entered into the world. Uh, because what you see is that it's, it's, it's called the fall of the rebel angels. And it was kind of people who, you know, good angels went bad. Uh, and all the, again, these sort of locust-like creatures, and there's God up at the top. They all come swooping down, and the landscape is extraordinary. This beautiful, um, again, you've got burning ships and things in the background. Uh, almost, we'll see better examples in a minute, of all this sort of almost like crystal fantasy ge geological forms. Uh, but you can see, and I'm not sure if I can see this. Well, uh, see, here is God. And I, he, he's sort of dressed not quite as the Pope, I don't think. He's not quite got the Pope, the papal tiara on. But anyway, this is the creation of Eve, uh, who, as you all know, was created from Adam's rib. This is the fifth day of creation. No, sixth. Adam on day five, Eve on day uh, six, and then the, the day seven, he had a little rest. That's why we take Sunday off, apparently. Uh, anyway, so that's happening out there, and Adam's sort of snoozing away. Then the temptation, Adam and Eve, the serpent, saying, here, chew on this. And then, again, more wonderfully um, elaborate landscape forms. Again, we'll see better in just a minute. And then the angel driving Adam and Eve out of, uh, out of paradise. So then that, that sort of leads, that's the first sin, as of, well, and or the original sin, whatever you want to say. But that leads to what's going on in the middle panel. Uh, which is all about life in this world, basically, rather than paradise. And remember, this is about under four.